So, Black Panther, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the MCU, Black Panther 2, the passing of Chadwick Boseman, Ryan Coogler, Kevin Feige. These are all things, these are all elements uh, being swirled around in a pot right now, you know? Um, a few months ago, Ryan Coogler had uh, the script for Black Panther 2 already written. It was already set. They knew the direction that it was going to go in, and they were getting ready to start filming. Then their main star, Chadwick Boseman, sadly passed away from, um, from cancer. Um, then it was announced couple months later or like a month later at the Disney investors meeting uh, they will not be recasting the role of T'Challa the Black Panther to which I have been very public in saying that is a bad call that is a, that is a bad move I don't think it has anything to do with the disrespect of of recasting Chadwick Boseman um, I think there are so many other things at play here. We know that Chadwick Boseman uh, received the smallest paycheck out of any of the Avengers um, in the MCU. He did. I mean, yeah, he was paid $2 million to do the Black Panther movie. But, you know, when Chris Evans is getting paid $14 million to do a Captain America movie, you kind of scratch your head and say, what? WTF? Hang on a second. So, it is my personal opinion that there was, there was a plan set in motion to phase out uh, Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa, the Black Panther. It's a it's a it's a tin foil hat theory, so don't hang on my words all that severely, right? Um, but it definitely it makes you wonder, makes you question, and then they come out and say, "Oh, well, you know, out of respect to the character, out of re no, out of respect to the character, you recast and you keep the legacy of Black Panther going." I, yes, I understand that, you know, some people say, oh, well, uh, Chadwick Boseman owns that role and recasting is uh, detrimental to his legacy. No, it's not. No, it is not. Everything that Black Panther is, everything that he represents, everything uh, that is important and integral to the character, not just the character, but to the people that look up to this character, um, and in, uh, have found him iconic and inspirational over the many decades that his character has been around, that is what's important. That is why we need to keep this character around, right? Well, they're not going to do it. And the script is being rewritten. Mm. Um, and they're going to start filming Black Panther 2, to which I say, how are you just not going to... Uh, how are you going to um, ignore... This gaping hole of, hey, here's the main star, the main character of this franchise. And all of a sudden, you're, you're not going to recast. He's just going to just not be there, right? Uh, most likely, most likely, um, in Black Panther 2, in the next uh, uh, film installment, it is going to be Shuri, uh, T'Challa's younger sister, Shuri, taking up the mantle of Black Panther, most likely. Or... Maybe it's just going to be this big, oh, I'm having this thought in real time right now. Maybe the second movie is all about the mystery of where did T'Challa go? Maybe he just went missing. Maybe that's, ooh, ooh, maybe that's what the second movie is going to be about. Well, okay, so all of this is lead up, all of this is prefaced, all of this is built up to say... Ryan Coogler, writer and director of the first Black Panther movie, um, and you know uh, Creed and Fruitville Station, you know multiple multiple other projects, uh, very prolific uh, writer director. He just his his production company, um, Proximity Proximity Media, um, they just signed a five year deal with Disney, um, which includes a Black Panther or rather Wakanda television series for Disney Plus under, you know, the MCU. So here's my tin foil hat theory. 
here's my tinfoil hat theory. And of course, I just, I literally just came up with this uh, uh, concept as I was speaking in real time. Um, it is my tinfoil hat theory. The Black Panther 2 is going to revolve around the idea that T'Challa has gone missing. And now the entire nation of Wakanda, uh, maybe, not to mention uh, maybe uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier or, you know, any other character from the MCU. Now they are on a mission to find T'Challa. What happened to T'Challa? Maybe Namor came up from the depths of the ocean. If you're not familiar with Namor, Namor is the MCU version of Aquaman. Maybe Namor came up and uh, captured uh, T'Challa. Maybe he kidnapped T'Challa and is holding uh, him for ransom against the nation of Wakanda. Maybe that's what's going on. But here's the thing. With a Wakanda series in work, it's, it's interesting that he signed a five-year deal because that means, yeah, there's Black Panther 2, uh, but there's also a Wakandan series. Is the Wakandan series going to be multiple seasons? Because it's not going to take five. Maybe, maybe that includes Black Panther 3. Who knows? We haven't seen the details of this deal that Proximity Media signed with Disney. Maybe that includes Black Panther 3. Maybe that includes a season 2 of the Wakandan series. But maybe the Wakandan series... Um, explains where T'Challa has been. I am a firm believer. I am a firm believer that T'Challa, obviously not Chadwick Boseman, but the character of T'Challa will return with uh, a new actor portraying him. I am confident that this will happen. Kevin Feige's statements at the Disney investors meeting uh, a few months ago saying that they will not recast the role of T'Challa. I think that was I think that was a mistake to say that this early in the game, at this stage in the game, because I am very very confident that Disney needs to recast this role and will recast this role and that by them saying they're not going to recast is just a knee-jerk reaction to the social media thing going on. Recasting is disrespectful. Oh no, if we recast, people think that we're going to be disrespectful about it. Nope, I disagree. Um, they need time to pass and for people to miss the character of T'Challa, for people to want this character to come back into social consciousness and then they will recast. Ah, uh, see, we we gave him his due. His legacy lives on through a new uh, a new actor portraying him. And like I've always said, Aldous Hodge. I want Aldous Hodge to play Black Panther. I think he's a perfect choice for it. Anyway, guys, that's my tin of foil hat theory. We know that Ryan Coogler is uh, signing, or that he has signed this five year deal with Disney, or rather his production company has signed a five-year deal with Disney to produce a Wakanda TV series for Disney Plus as well as um, uh, Black Panther 2 possibly three who knows we'll just have to wait and find out question is for you though what do you guys think of um, first of all what do you think of my tinfoil hat theory um, that the Wakanda series is is going to explain where T'Challa has been. Uh, Black Panther Two will be all all be about the uh, the absence of T'Challa. Where's T'Challa been? Shuri now needs to take up the mantle of Black Panther. They go off on their adventures. Maybe at the end of the movie they find him. But I do. I mean, Namor is heavily rumored to be an integral part of Black Panther Two. So I mean, this this could work. This could work if these are their plans. Anyway, what do you think of this? Do you think it's a ridiculous theory? What do you think of the Wakanda series coming to, to Disney Plus um, through Ryan Coogler? Do you think it's going to be something completely different? What are your fan theories? Jump on down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what Luke Skywalker would want you to do. Da 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 dun dun da 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 dun dun.